What is the worst gift you've ever got? Birthday, anniversary, Christmas, Valentine's. What is the worst piece of shit you ever got? <laughs> We've had a heckle. Go on, what, what was that? Say a little bit louder. No, that was fine. Uh, sir, what, what's your name? What? What? Sorry. Toby. Toby. Toby, do you mind me sharing with the group? Thank you very much indeed, Toby. That makes it much easier. Because there's a heckle. It's quite a good heckle. Quite a funny heckle. But we have to do a heckle put down now. God. <laughs> I would love if I could just let it go, but I can't. <laughs> there are rules. <laughs> but you don't mind me sharing with the group, so it makes it much easier. We can go old school. <laughs> what? Sorry. Stop stalling. Don't panic, sir. <laughs> I've got this. I'll have to put you on asshole waiting. <laughs> Toby's mum <laughs> is so fat. <laughs> She's a fucking disgrace, Toby. Your mum is such a chunky monkey wobble slob. Fatty boom batty blubber naught. <laughs> She's so fucking fat, when she fell down the stairs, I thought EastEnders had finished. <laughs> boom, 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 ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> True story. <laughs> <clears throat> you, sir. <laughs> what did you say? What was it? Stop stalling? Yeah? What, what's your name? Are you trying to say Gary? <laughs> Watch me. Gary. <laughs> yeah. 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 The fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I laugh like a sexual predator? <laughs> I like the way that a sexual predator sounds better in your accent than any other. A sexual predator. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I laugh like that. It's one of life's mysteries. In the same way as why you dressed as a gay lumberjack. <laughs> we, we may never know. <laughs> I like big thick logs. Hmm. <laughs> any, any other heckles? Yeah. What, sorry? <laughs> Posh prick. <laughs> Posh prick seems a bit harsh. <laughs> what's, uh, what's your name, sir? Miles. Miles. <laughs> and you think I might be a bit posh? <laughs> just notice, does that. Sh can you all just keep a little bit quiet for a second? I've just noticed there's a man over there that appeared in a blue jumper. I think he might be asleep. If you could just keep quiet around him. Just shush, shush. Oh, and fuck, he's woken. <laughs> fuck. Hello? <laughs> You're having a fucking weird dream, aren't you? <laughs> I wouldn't fall asleep again. Some Something very bad will happen. <laughs> I was going to teabag him. Shit. <laughs> it's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Sounds like it would have been a very popular choice. <laughs> What's your name? Steven. Stephen. You had to have a little think, though, didn't you? <laughs> All right, and what do you do, Stephen? Footballer. You're a footballer. <laughs> who, who do you play for? Stran Ra. <laughs> He's a footballer. He plays for Stran Ra. <laughs> OK, I'm fucking shit at football as well, mate. Don't worry about it. Don't, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Don't feel bad. Who's the most famous person I've ever met? Well, I, I once met her. Uh, the, um, well, it's quite an impressive one. I don't want to show off, but you know, you know, you know, no, you know how villages have got idiots, yeah? <laughs> I met the idiot for the whole of Glasgow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... One of the biggest cunts in the world, yeah. <laughs> I married him. And you married him. That is, again, that will only happen in Glasgow. 
you call someone a cunt and their wife goes, yep. <laughs> oh, don't I know? <laughs> Fuck here now. Um, yeah, I'll record it in Glasgow, it'll be fine. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, that brings me very neatly onto the next bit of material. Who here's got kids? Yeah. Like, kind of, was that? <laughs> what, sorry? All right, Jimmy. What? What? <laughs> what was that? You chipped in with something. Go on, Jimmy. You said go on, Jimmy. Yes. All right, ironically, slowing things down. <laughs> You often do that, just stop people in the street and go, on with you, on with your day. <laughs> oh, I'll just, I just stop and just tell you to continue. <laughs> hmm. um, right, good. Any questions so far? How old? What? How old? How old? Yeah, fuck grammar, we're in a hurry. <laughs> Easy is that? <laughs> how old? <laughs> Not how old are you, or would you mind telling us how old you are? How old? 28. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, well, have a guess. How old do you think I am? You think I'm 12? <laughs> well, you shouldn't even be having those kind of thoughts about me, then. <laughs> do you know they've done that? Come on, this is what I do for a living. I think of little jokes in my head, and then I tell them to you so that you'll like me. <laughs> Sounds a bit tragic when I say, <laughs> what was that, it's not working? <laughs> well, you can fuck off. <laughs> this is as good as it ever fucking goes. <laughs> Where are you, it's not working, man? Give us a wave. Yeah, what do you do, sir? Telecoms. You, <laughs> you do telecoms? <laughs> what, what do you do? Do you...? I do you. I do you. <laughs> I do you telephone. <laughs> what, sorry? You build telecoms networks. You build telecoms networks. <laughs> Ironically, you work in communications and can hardly... <laughs> ..can hardly string a fucking sentence together. I love swearing. I've always quite... Oh, you all right? Sorry, what was that? I missed a bit of chat. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's not the telly. If you talk, I can hear. <laughs> now you're looking pissed off. You're thinking, I didn't press the red button. It's gone all interactive. What, <laughs> what, what were you saying? <laughs> Go on, say it. You thought you You just said I thought you were talking about snake bite the drink. <laughs> yeah. What what happened was Okay, in a joke, a joke is like two stories, yeah? And the first story makes you make an assumption about something. So the assumption people made about snake bite in, in that joke was that it was a snake biting you. But, but he, he, <laughs> That's the setup of the joke. So you made the assumption he's talking about a snake bite, a snake biting someone. In the second part of the joke, often known as the punchline, <laughs> what, you'll, what you'll find is that rug will be, will be whipped from under you and you'll realise that the assumption you made was erroneous. <laughs> Suddenly revealing a fact that was previously concealed is, is the nature of all one-liners, Badham. So in essence, I was talking about both snake bites, the thing that happens when a snake bites you, <laughs> And also the drink. <laughs> no problem at all, it's lovely to help. <laughs> Sonia. Speaking of which, did you all see that heartbreaking story in the Mirror newspaper last year? Yeah. They ran a campaign. <laughs> Are you showing off to the other children? <laughs> Are you pretending you can read? By heartbreaking story, do you mean the tits on page three? <laughs> what, sorry? Welcome, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> so I'm fine for fruit and veg, thank you. <laughs> I presume that's what he's talking about. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> nice that you're here, though. It's a night off for someone, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Carr. <laughs> Don't forget the balls. Bless you. You really do care. Where about are you from, sir? Where? You're from New York. What are you doing over here? Do you mind me asking? I'm for work. You, you do something. You moved here for work. Yeah. What, what sort of work do you do? I mean, I'm not suggesting I need to see your papers, but <laughs> what are you bringing to the party? Uh, finance, IT. Finance and IT. I can't really think what that is. is that cash points. Hang on, you're looking at ATMs. <laughs> it's our language, you fucking ruined it. <laughs> oh. yeah, next time you have a fight with someone, stop getting us involved. <laughs> You're getting blamed for everything. Go on, you can. If it weren't for us, you'd be speaking German. <laughs> Sorry, if it wasn't for you, we'd be speaking German. How little do you know about our language abilities? <laughs> There's no way we'd have picked it up in 60 years. <laughs> as long as it's just me. <laughs> when I say. <laughs> Yeah, there'll be a lot of jokes. <laughs> it's not every day I get to talk to a slag. Come on. <laughs> now... I don't know where the mark is until I overstep it. That's my... <laughs> you just did. <laughs> that is juvenile. That... Sorry, for those of you that didn't see that, it'll be on the DVD. <laughs> Available at all good car boots. <laughs> Vicky's response to that? Yeah, she's been called a slag at a show. That's not good in anyone's book, and I apologise for that unreservedly. But did you really need to do that? <laughs> God bless you. Has anyone here been to Alton Towers? Yes. What do you think? Do you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. Loved it. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Go on, who was that? Was you? Did you have a shit time? It was awful. My God. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> you robbed a fruit machine. You ro <laughs> the, sorry, the best thing about Alton Towers was we robbed a fruit machine. <laughs> that is an amazing sentence. <laughs> sorry, sir, your time as the gypsy this evening is now... <laughs> it's now over. <laughs> that is... Forget it. Forget it. You have been outchaved. <laughs> Well, to, well, you went to Alton Towers and your complaint was, not enough to Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you're using now an expression of, yeah, you rob a fruit, you see a fruit machine, you rob a fruit machine. <laughs> come on, we're friends, we all, come on. You know, I'm a guy, you're a guy, we steal things from fruit machines. <laughs> no! <laughs> What's your name, sir? Daniel. Daniel. Well, nice to meet you, Daniel. What do you do? I work at a jeweller's. <laughs> Unless you're the cleaner, <laughs> they've made a massive error of judgment. <laughs> so how long have you been casing this joint? <laughs> About a year. And when's the big job? <laughs> this is great. Do I get paid extra if this ends up on Crime Watch? <laughs> Was I bullied at school? <coughs> no. <laughs> what, sorry? You are a faggy twat. But I am a faggy twat. We're all having fun, I'll just open this can of whoop ass. <laughs> Pop that there. <laughs> You're remarkably uh, confident for a man in, in some sort of hooded top. 
<laughs> what do you do for a living, sir? Do you mind me asking? I'm a student. You're a student, and what, what are you studying? Um, I'm still in secondary school in Ireland. You're still in secondary school <laughs> in Ireland? <laughs> <laughs> and what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> What, sorry? A lawyer. You want to be a lawyer? So you know you're a cunt, you're going down that road. <laughs> and who are you here with this evening? I'm alone. You're alone? <laughs> so, so far, we know you're alone... <laughs> ..and you're a bit of a cunt. <laughs> I'm liking you, frankly. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Chris. Chris. Hi, Chris. You all right? And have you just come over for the show, or have you over for the weekend? Just come over for the show. Well, God bless you, Chris. Feel free to join in any time you want. <laughs> the more aggressive, the better, frankly. <laughs> I quite like it. <laughs> oh, what, sorry? Tosser. Tosser. <laughs> right. <laughs> just around, just tosser. <laughs> yeah, you know you're in fucking Glasgow, don't you, where <laughs> someone pays you 22 50 to tell you to fuck off? <laughs> So why don't we have a heckle amnesty, a little two, three minutes, where you can just fill your boots, if you've got something abusive to shout, <laughs> have at it. Fuck <laughs> off. Have you actually got Tourette's? That was, that was so quick. <laughs> Can't fuck bum. <laughs> and fuck bum, that's such a weird thing to shout. Fuck bum. <laughs> like the rudest words you know. <laughs> fuck cunt bum. Any other heckles? What, sorry? <laughs> Peter Kay was sold out, so you had to come here. <laughs> yeah. Unlucky. I bet he wouldn't have called you a cunt. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not Peter Kay. <laughs> cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Any other...